At Tubeway, we've been manufacturing and supplying DIY secondary glazing systems for over 60 years. In this video, we look at the choices for glazing sheet to help you select the most suitable for your home or workplace. It's not a scientific study, but it's intended as a common sense guide. The choice is basically between glass or plastic sheets. There are different types of glass available, starting with normal float glass and then various types of toughened glass that add strength and cost. Where we mention glass in this video, we're referring to normal float glass. For plastic sheet, we have polycarbonate, acrylic or polystyrene, which are also known by various trade names such as Macrolon or Perspex. The type and thickness of glazing you use may be dictated by which system you would like to fit. For example, we do not recommend the use of glass with any of our magnetic systems for safety reasons. And our sliding systems have been specifically designed for 4mm thickness glazing sheets only. The individual product pages will detail which glazing options are most suitable for use. For comparison, we have applied eight choice criteria. Strength. See our separate action video on both websites. It shows how easily plastic sheet does or doesn't break. But in rough terms, polycarbonate is 200 times stronger than glass. Acrylic, 10 times stronger. And polystyrene, twice as strong. This makes a difference in transportation as glass and polystyrene do not travel well and are best bought locally. Acrylic is okay, but can break in transit if roughly handled. But polycarbonate is generally safe regardless. Ultraviolet or UV protection. Our polycarbonate sheet is 2 UV, meaning both sides are UV protected preventing discoloration of the sheet. Our acrylic is 1 UV, which is the side with the printed film on it. Once this is removed, you will not be able to tell which way round it is. Polystyrene is generally UV unprotected and should be used for greenhouses or indoor use only. Glass is not generally UV protected either, although it breaks down some UV rays because of its chemical construction. Weight. Plastic sheet is approximately half the weight of equivalent thickness glass. As you can see here, with these 4mm thick 150mm square panes of glass, and polycarbonate. Both our websites have a ready reckoner if you want to work out how heavy your glazing panels will be. Clarity. This is pretty much equal for plastic and glass. Cleaning. Use almost anything on glass, but be aware of anything that will scratch plastic, as it will eventually show. We recommend using a non-abrasive cleaner and a clean microfiber cloth. Cost. Expect to pay a premium for better performing sheet. Polystyrene is the cheapest, acrylic is about 50% more, and polycarbonate another 30% on top. We have deliberately avoided a cost comparison with glass as we do not supply it. Contact your local glass merchant for a quote. Cutting. Plastic sheet can be cut with a jigsaw or router, avoiding high speed blades. You can score and snap the acrylic and the polystyrene as you would with glass. Make sure you grind down the glass edges for safe handling. Insulating properties. 
both plastic and glass secondary glazing will provide significant heat and noise insulation if installed properly. Expect marginal benefits between sheets of different thicknesses. For example, we would not expect 4mm sheet to give twice the benefits of 2mm thickness sheet as the air trap between the original and secondary glazing provides the majority of the insulation. We hope this information is helpful when choosing the glazing that is most suitable for you. To buy cut to size polycarbonate sheet online, go to www.secondaryDIYglazing.com or for more information on bulk packs of acrylic and polystyrene sheet in common sizes, visit www.tubewaysales.com. Thanks for watching.